Hi, I'm Lindsay with American Patchwork and Quilting. We issued a fun challenge for our staff members to walk around their neighborhoods or their homes or even their yards and take pictures of things that inspired them and then to pull a color palette from their stash that matches the inspired photo. So I'll go first. I love spending time in my yard and we just redid our back deck, got a new rug, and I just loved the way our hostas were flowering and looked right next to our deck. So I pulled in the stripe from the rug, that deep brown color, and then beautiful shades of greens and purples in both lights and darks to really show how those flowers look during the sunlight and shade and just pull in all those different yummy colors and textures. Let's take a look at some more. I'm Jody Sanders, editor of American Patchwork and Quilting Magazine. When I'm looking for inspirations for colorways for my quilts, sometimes nature is the best go-to for me. I love fresh flowers and summertime is the best time to go to my garden, my yard, or even the farmer's market. And for me, the more colors the merrier, so I like to pick lots of different colors and a variety of colors to include in my quilt. Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm here at the lake with my family and I love to find inspiration for color palettes and quilts in nature and on family vacation. So as you can see behind me, there is a beautiful sunset tonight and I can't wait to go home and start pulling fabrics for my next quilt. Hi, I'm Beth and I have a collection of vintage pottery that I just love. I got it from my grandma so it's really special. I thought it'd be really fun to create a palette based off of the pottery colors. So here are the fabrics I ended up selecting. I wanted to reference the funky vibe that the pottery gives, so I found some fun geometrics that did that. This isn't a palette I normally would have put together, but I ended up really liking it. And I think it ties in really nicely with the pottery I already have displayed around my home. Hi, I'm Allison. One of my favorite parts of the quilting process is choosing fabrics. I like to find inspiration everywhere, and I notice color palettes in my everyday life, but I especially love taking a walk through nature and finding my inspiration there. Hi, I'm Diane Tomlinson, Associate Editor in American Patchwork and Quilting, and I like the way batiks relate to nature. All of the um, imperfections and the blending colors you find in nature, I think you find in these beautiful batiks, especially when you put them against a dark background like this dark blue the colors just pop. 